Hey there YouTubies! Today I'm going to do a basic tutorial on how to find a mate in Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. Um, so first you have to complete your first quest by hunting two elk. I have a video on that, the basics of tracking and hunting and also a video on how to hunt on accurate. And I'll have cards for those or they'll be linked down in the comments if you want to watch those first. So there's a couple different ways to uh, find a mate. And it's, see, we're female, so we don't want to go looking for those female dispersals. You have to find a wolf of the opposite gender of your wolf, so it's important to keep in mind what gender your wolf is. And you can go about getting dispersals are pack wolves. And I'm just going to go on the edge of pack territory here. We'll see. We'll see what shows up. And I'm just going to hobble a couple times. Because this allows any nearby wolves to be able to hear us. I'm going to scent post. And then I'm going to sleep. Now when we wake up, there should be wolves here, but that doesn't always happen, so we'll see. Yep, this is the wolves ahead. So, um, you can do this to find the Spurcels or pack wolves. Let's see, where, where are they though? Oh, there they are. Um, so let's try to find some pack wolves. We're just gonna run away from these guys. So we're gonna actually go into pack territory. And it's easier to find pack wolves if you're on a harder setting. Like challenging or accurate. Versus they might not show up when you're playing on easy. So we're just gonna go into pack territory and sleep. Pack wolves ahead. Yep, see? And then sometimes um, portable wolves won't show up with the pack wolves, and it will only be wolves that are going to aggro on you, but in this case we got lucky. Um, so we're actually just going to go ahead and court this guy. So at first, he's not going to want to come near us. We try to go near him, he's going to run away. See? So we just want to um, target him. By either clicking, or if you're using a controller, then it would be the RB button, the front right button, the front right trigger. And then you can hold E to open your emote wheel. And pick a couple emotes. And you just emote with him until it says you convince this wolf to get to know you better. So that's cool. So what I do at this point is that I'll just spam lick face, sniff noses, and chin rest because then he can't really like walk away from you. Um, but I mean you can't really just spam it, you gotta wait for a second because it tells you to slow down there. And then you want to get that heart all the way up, so that way you can enter the trial period with your mate. Because technically they're not our mate yet, they just, they just decided, sure, I'll get to know you a little bit. So, interestingly, usually there's two wolves that show up and only one did this time. Alright. And mates do have different personalities. Yep, see? His um, heart's all the way full, so he rolled over on his back like that. Um, they do have different personalities, and there is ways to determine them during courtship. Like, what kind of personality they have. Okay, so once you get to this point, um, we still, we're still in the courting session. We're still courting 
our mate. So they're technically not our mate yet. So you can do a couple different things here. And if you're on challenging or accurate, it's going to go a lot faster if you hunt with your mate. But you can also um, sit there and spam emotes on them to get it up faster. And on easy, that's the best way to get your affinity up with your trial mate. And like I said, there are ways to tell your mate's personality and how they're going to hunt from how you use emotes. But the best way to do it is to just go on a hunt with them, see how they do. If you're playing on challenging or accurate, I strongly suggest that you go on at least two hunts with your mate, just to make sure that they're actually going to help you. Um, you could also look for a carcass or, you know, take something down, then sleep by it, wait for a competitor to come and see how they react to the competitor, and then you'd know how they're going to, um, um, act against competitors at your pup's den site. So those are ways to determine if you want the mate that you're courting, but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna get courtship up by spamming emotes. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth video on the personalities of the mates and how to um, distinguish them from each other, um, leave a like or a comment and I can make that for you guys and we'll probably see that in a future video then so I just spam chin rest stiff noses and lift face because then he can't move away from me it makes this whole process go a lot faster but I mean you can't continuously um, socialize eventually it's going to tell you to cool down and then once we get to that part see because there's no more hearts coming off of them so that means that we need to probably rest here a minute oh now he's got hearts this guy must be really sociable because he's letting me chat with him quite a bit And, and in that video on um, mate personalities, I'll go more into depth, depth on what their personalities mean and such. Wow, he's still letting me talk to him. This is the most sociable wolf I've ever seen. There he goes. Cool down. Take a mate break from socializing with him. So then, we're just gonna sleep. When we wake up, he should be ready to socialize with again. Um, your affinity will drop a little bit when you sleep. Um, it's It drops more when you're on accurate or challenging versus on uneasy. On easy, it's not really a big deal, but on accurate and challenging, it, it could be, but also. Um, he doesn't really seem to like the chin rest that much. I really don't get it. Wow, I'm not getting any hearts. What's going on? Apparently he only wants me to look at his face. Alright. Oh, now that's him. He's like, yo, we just chatted a bunch earlier. I'm hungry. That's probably what he's saying. He probably wants to get hungry. Um... So you can just keep spamming these three until you get your affinity up to 70%. Alright, so now we're at 100 or not 100%, but we're at about 70% affinity. So we can, if we like this wolf, we can end the courtship trial and be their mate. Otherwise, we can say no and go find another mate. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna say yes and. We'll just give him a generic name. And then we can go to Sloth Creek. So then to get to Sloth Creek, you just go to the star on your map or even just create a new game from the main menu and with this wolf and Sloth Creek. Um, 
So then our how-to videos will continue in the Sloth Creek. And the next one will be um, strategies on territory and den sites. And then there'll be one on how to raise pups. So if you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe and hit the notifications bell to be notified when the new video comes out. And we'll see you next time.